girly games squared meow hey guys welcome to another episode of girly games squared you're here with bmo playing soma reality is which when you stop believing in doesn't go away philip kid are you okay simon i think you're bleeding simon. oh that, that's nothing it's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident here take this no, that that's for later, for the scan. The brain juice. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Lynch? Why is there never enough time? For what? Ah, ah. Yeah, I'm up. <laughs> Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. Okay. So guys, I actually played this um, already, but the audio was a little messed up, so uh, I have to re-record, of course. So I do know kind of what I'm doing, but I'm just going to mess with stuff as I go. Hey Simon, it's Jesse. You working this weekend or what? I knew there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend or next? Anywho, just shoot me a mail or something. Love you, miss you, mean it. End of messages. He's our best friend. I swear, son. that guy has the memory of a goldfish. I even sent an email to remind him, didn't I? This is a book. It's a book about brains. Yep. Because we are bleeding Where did I put the tracer from the you? head. And this is a get well card from mom. And we did some stuff that I still can't read. And this mug goes on the floor. All mugs are mug-like things. Oh, there we go. Go on the floor. David Munchie, a neurographic session on April 30th, 2015. Uh, thank you again for participating in our research. The scan will be performed at Pace Laboratories in Toronto, but since we are guests, our access is a bit unpredictable, and I will try to schedule a scan session for Saturday. I'll get back with you when confirmed. Sincerely, David Munchi. And we have a new prescription from Dr. Aaron Peak. Uh, dear Mr. Jarrett, I'm happy to hear your headaches have become less frequent. Uh, your latest tests show your brain is slowly recovering, but it's still too early to tell how well it will adjust to the damage. The bleeding will continue over the coming months at least, and they'll be come to the hospital. Oh, you will need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity to prevent the blood from building up pressure. Since excessive stress could be fatal, I have written you a prescription for parosin to help you when you have your nightmares. Please read the instructions and medicate accordingly. Try to get a lot of rest and I will see you next week. Sincerely, Dr. Aaron Peak. Oh, Jesse. Okay, oh, he called us. Send. Hey, Jesse. Uh, since you probably forgot, here's me reminding you that I got to the doctor's appointment tomorrow. Uh, I am not coming into work, i.e. Uh, blah, blah, blah. This means you need to make sure you actually are on time to open up the store. And please unpack the boxes behind the counter. They're starting to become a workplace hazard. Also, books tend to sell much better if you put them on the shelves where people are able to actually see them. Good luck. You'll need it. Simon. Send it. Yes. Better late than never. Okay. Computer done. Search drawers. This is important. Um, the downtown accident kills young woman. Toronto. Yesterday, a driver distracted by her child ran a red light, causing a blind side a car in the intersection of Bloor Street and Spaspar Spadina Road. Ah. 
The mother and her child, traveling in a robust SUV, were left bruised but largely unharmed. The other party was not so lucky. As the car crashed into a passenger's side, Ashley Hall, 23, sustained devastating damage and suffocated from blood trapped in the lungs before the ambulance arrived. Her friend and driver, Simon Jarrett, 26, survived but with complications result believed to the believed to leave him with permanent brain damage. Uh, the driver of the SUV, whose name blank, being released by police, claims it was an accident and par par practically unavoidable. Yeah, my reading so great. Uh, this is a magazine, and it's a magazine, and I don't know what this is. Okay. But there's apparently a lot of them. Do do do. This is massive recoil. It's a movie. Corrupt cops. Okay. So let's go and continue on our search. It changes. The place where the tracer fluid changes. This is stuff, and it belongs in the sink. And this is gross. Okay. Not in there. These are cups, and they belong on the floor. All of them. There we go. This one too. No, that's a plate. Oh, this one. Aha. Um, drawer. Nope. Drawer. Nope. Drawer. No. Open. Uh, is it in the fridge? Nothing but fast food. Pizza goes away. Buy something healthier on my way home. Yeah. That's a cup. Belongs on the floor. Okay. So, oh, we missed these. There it is. Ah, oh, yeah. Drink it. Looks like Pepto Bismol. Okay. It feels like milk, but the taste is like sucking on a penny. Is there anything else? I never really look at most of this stuff. There's some pictures um, if you want to see. Uh, I think there was something up here. Oh, yeah, it's his prescription. It's up here. And, uh,. Picture people. I assume one one of them might have been that girl. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe the other one's Jesse. Okay. Oh, we forgot our keys. And this is mail. And we leave. On the way we go to Pace Laboratories. On the subway, and this is a guy, and another guy, and a girl, and we're all on the subway. Who's sick, buddy? And now, I will proceed to speak loudly on my phone. Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after this scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris <laughs> help me out. Matty from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well... Sad. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Well, good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know, dying thing. <laughs> Dying thing? You're the worst support ever. Yeah. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. What a Over douche. and out, buddy. You won't find me in a voting booth. <laughs> All a big setup. Nah, go vote, people. Very important. All my Canadian neighbors. Vote. October 19th. October 19th, guys. Hello? Dr. Munchie? 
clowns. Aren't they lovely? Okay. Let's go over here. Where is everyone? And this, this place would be busy. On the ground. Oh, actually, I landed. That's acceptable. Okay. Cool. Uh, Paul, where are you? We got a few hours. I got hold of Simon Jarrett. Let's do this. I saw your laptop in the reception. Are you already here? Call me ASAP. Uh, from David Munchie here. So who's Paul? Uh, David Munchi, get your stuff ready. Hi, Paul. Talked to Pace about using the lab this week. I managed to book the scanner for tomorrow morning, and again on Friday. Not only a lot, but they said we could use the empty reception area as a kind of office. It would allow us to use their computers to run models, and also, if a time slot opens up, we can get in there and use a scanner rig right away. I thought we could run some tests tomorrow, and we could do a scan of each other and learn the equipment. It's supposed to be pretty easy. On Friday, I'm hoping Dr. Erin Peak will send us some somebody over. She has a patient that was recently in the car crash, and should be invest. It should be interesting, David. David Munchi, we're locked out. I found some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, nobody told us about the code change. So I could, ca so I called security, talked to the Professor Wee to have him vouch for our project, and finally got a hold of some honcho over at Ace Legal Department that could regrant us permission to use the lab. I'm not allowed to repeat the code in mails or texts, but I'll leave you a note of something we forget in case we sort. Eh. But I'll leave you a note or something in case we forget, Paul. Dun, 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 dun. So Paul left us the code in here, and it, it is two five zero oh, one, and a lot of stuff. Yes, and in here, there's this thing about brains. It's kind of it. It means this is trial and error, and we're screwed. <laughs> okay. So. Turn on the lights. Shall There shall be light. So we go over here. Um, two, five, oh, one. And the creepy music plays. Oh, man. We can't get in here. I know how to run. We also can't get in here. Okay. Um, this is a place where there's a cup on a table. Okay. So this is a bunch of brains and code and some stuff and things and a syringe. Don't sit down. And some graphs. Pace Laboratories. And this is a door that we go into. Oh, hi. David Didn't Munchie. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Simon Munchie. Jarrett. But I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. Amateur is this part of your thesis work? Full-time yeah. comic book It's a study I'm doing with person. my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you... Uh, Take the tracer fluid? Yes. Indeed. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. I want to so talk to you. what exactly are we doing? We're going to do a scan of your brain. Then we build a computer model of it and bombard it with stimuli. The program will help us to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized. In short, develop the perfect treatment for your condition. So it's not just a study. This will actually help me. Well, I should hope so. Otherwise, this would be a huge waste of time. <laughs> you know, I have a serious condition, right? You heard about the yeah, car crash, this guy's pretty the sketchy. X months to live deal. Yes, I heard. But we're gonna get in the chair. Having to hear that. But I'm gonna talk the shit out of you. As you know, it's first. because your brain is weakened so much <laughs> that it can start to bleed every so often. We're and if it ever gets real bad, up. it will kill me. Well, we probably can't restore your brain completely, but we should be able to make those X months turn into years. Decades, even. Hmm. If you take care of yourself and don't do anything too crazy, we should be able to get you to outlive the best We're going of skydiving. I really hope you're right about this. Me too. 
This could make a huge difference for how we treat people with brain damage. So, He's not what a do you doctor. say? Should we get going? Sure. Let's get started. He's Take a not seat. A doctor. He's not a doctor. Okay. This is just stuff. Stuff and things. Let's get this show on the road. And that, yeah. In the chair we go. Time for the creepy shit to go down in the weird helmet. Robot noises. Oh. Alright, let me just get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. Toronto, Canada, David Munchie. Born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat neurograph, version 6. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. Is that so? Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? Say cheese. Boom. What happened? Check out this sweet helmet. Hello? Mr. Munchie? Did something go wrong? Okay. This isn't funny. So. Our dude? I, I'm not supposed to put myself in. Is freaking out. And this is now in the This is kind of stressing me out. That's a computer. This is a fire extinguisher. Hey! We need to do this. Though. Anyone? What the hell is this place? How do I get here? I can figure this out. I just need to stay calm. No need to make things worse. Okay. This place is messed up. Look at this fire extinguisher. It's our friend. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna take a look around. Okay. These are cool suits. They're like scuba suits. They're pretty cool. Um, over here is a station, but we have to unlock the other terminal, which is over here, of course. Don't like that. Um, so this is a service console. We have to find the Omni tool um, and install the chip. Stop it. We don't like that. No. Anyways. So this is where our chips are, and we have to unlock this whole thing to do that. So. As long as he's not right there. Okay. He sounds like he's right there. So we are going to need this open. So move that. I 
I'm making a lot of noise. These things are cool. It's working better than expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Call Permacil as many as you can, rather than take any chances. Bathroom. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? All done. Should keep most of them out. I'm on my way to lock out the comm center. Just make sure to leave a way out of here. Trust me, I'll get you the data safe and sound. We just need to make sure we leave enough power running so we don't have to return. I hear that. See you back at camp. How did I do that? Just gonna close off a good measure. These are cups. Okay. Those are where they belong. And this, these are kind of cool. They're like the food. Um, so this is miso. And there's like curry mix. And there's some other, it's some good food. Okay. So I need to come over here and do this thing. Throw that. So, I really, really, really don't like this part. Uh. Oh my god, okay, no, still, no, still gets me. Still gets me every time. Oh, he's like a robo raptor, but it's so freaky. Oh, and then we we come up to this guy, and we give him our our gentle touch, just a gentle touch on his neck. What was that? You heard that, right? Hey, you. Can you talk? Can you talk like the others? Yes, we can talk. Unless you're talking about the robot, in which case I don't know. I don't like this dude. I really don't like him, so we're gonna stay here. We're gonna crouch. We're not even gonna go close to over there. You don't want to see him. You just don't. Nope. Uh, oh. Oh my god. Really? This guy. This guy. I don't want to go away. Yeah. Go away. Is he going yet? Oh, I don't want to creep out. Sound like he's going away now. Our raptor friend is gone. Okay, I think... Oh. We're just gonna go over here. Oh. Fuck me. Damn it. Ugh! It gets me every time. Every time. I don't like that guy. I really don't like him. Yes, we know that already hints. I should probably turn you off. Mm -mm 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 
Don't like this place. Don't like it. Don't like it. Don't like it. Don't like this place. No. No, 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 no. 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 No, 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 no. This place is kind of cool. I like to. Uh, yep. Oh my god. No. Every time. This. Oh, this game. Oh, shit. Hmm. <laughs> Every time, guys. Every time. Oh, this game. This game, guys. Holy shit. This game. Oh, this game. Oh, this game. <laughs> oh. Oh, that guy just freaks me out. He just freaks me out. Oh, thank God. Ooh. So, yeah. That's... That's fucked. I don't know where he went. But we need this. This is our Omni tool. Oh, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Just go, just go, just go. Go, 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 go. We just need to go I very quietly. Quiet indeed. That is why I am not running. broken to shit, I would rather still have that door closed. So we put our Omni tool in here, and th this is Pathos 2, uh, scanning the Omni tool. Service console up to 3, including pilot seed mm, activated. Those are noises. Unlock the toolbox. Uh, and put it in there. Go here. And we update. Tool chip security cipher. Updated. Okay. So we now have our Omni tool. And we can go over here now and check this out. Pilot seat number three. Uh, this is a bunch of what's. Just a bunch of what's. Uh, offline, offline. And reports. Uh, Carl Semkin to support Amy Azaro. Vehicle tugger. Uh, replace heat shields. Result success. Okay good. 
The pilot system has become increasingly unreliable. Everyone who's been using it the last couple of months have been having headaches and spells of nausea. Last week, Gavin was knocked out for 30 hours. That was trying to detect a helper cluster. This is not acceptable. While we figure this out, but the time for the time being, I'm shutting the usage of the pilot system. This means you will have to do some heavy more some more heavy lifting, performing the operations through throughout through programming or physical labor. Uh, no one is happy about this, so don't bother complaining. Jane Adams, Chief Factor. Okay. So that's what's in there. Oh, let's go back out here. Okay. Right, that's just the break room. Good. Okay. Uh, back into the very creepy place. Uh, where things ooze from walls. What? What in the fuck? That didn't happen to me last time. What the fuck? No! Creepy. Things we do. Oh. Nope, we're here. We're in a corner. Nothing is happening over here. We are but a person sitting in a corner. Nothing at all. Actually, we're not. No, we're nothing. We are not anything. Oh, but f fucking shit scared. <laughs> stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. We don't touch these things. They look as bad as they are. And that... That is creepy stuff. That is creepy, 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 creepy. What? 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 Okay, guys. Um. This door has never opened for me like that before. I've. I have. That didn't happen last time. As far as I know, we were supposed to go through this door. But I am extremely curious. Curiosity is going to kill me. Ugh. we just go? I don't really... Or do we check it out? Oh, this place is so cool. Uh, 
can't, I'm just not, I'm just not, I don't know. I don't think I can take whatever's down there. This place is cool though. And there's one of these things. Talking to Amy. We're evacuating. Okay. That explains the creepy guy. It's not Upsilon's phone, it got swarmed. Whatever. Seal that thing and get back to camp already. So we're just opening shit up. We suck. And this cup belongs on the ground. So these are cool. These are drawings of fish. And I think they're drawn by Anna. They're really cool. That's a shark. Because this... This is pretty cool, guys. I really like this environment. I like these robot arms. Uh, it's very cool, very ominous. I like it. Okay, so we're gonna go up here. Probably should crouch. <sighs> okay. What was that? How do we do this? Oh, here we go. This is kind of cool. Okay, so this is beyond the point that I have played in previous episodes. Not looking behind me. In any way, shape, or form. What was that? Oh, fuck. You can't. this way. To the exhaust? I don't know where this is gonna take us. Oh, we can't. Not through here, okay. He can't be small enough to get in here, I hope. Station control? Is that where we want to go? Oh, where are these? Yay! Okay, so we're going to station control. Okay. So we are in station control. Uh, what? Uh, 
don't think I want to be near this. Hey, can you hear me? Uh, what is that? messed up. Oh, <laughs> messed up. Radio signal blocked. Insufficient power. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, Miss Robo. I need it. Why? I'm okay. I'm happy. This is a better way for you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Miss Robo. I'm sorry. It had to be. That's not living. It's sad. That's a sad existence. Okay. Okay. So there's this. Okay. Okay. Offline. What? what? Oh, the lights are coming on. Holy shit. Oh, this is gonna trigger some shit, isn't it? Don't touch the structure. Gel leakage can't confirm it affects. Uh, issue has been reported to suit. Oh, damn it. Okay. Uh, sight. Oh, dude. What? What's happening? This cup is not on Hello? the ground. Is there anyone there? Hey, hey, can you hear me? I hear you. Uh, Absalot, what's going on? <coughs> uh, so, I, I have no me. idea. I, I just sort of woke up here. In the room right now? Uh, it, it was it was like a, a seat with a helmet. Is that right? Uh, what's your name? I, I'm Simon Jarrett. And what do you? Ah, oh, signal. Oh, damn relays. <laughs> Where are you now? <coughs> uh, uh, Excuse me. Some place dealing with electrical power. I I'm not sure if it's a plant or a transformer. Uh, yeah, you're probably in a thermal plant somewhere. You want to go upstairs to the comm center. Okay, it's the okay, room okay, with the okay, dome okay. ceiling. Uh, hey, look, look. This place is not... There's something seriously wrong here. Hello? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. We lost another relay. Listen, head for the comm center upstairs. I'll wait here. Okay. So... Falling hazard. Don't... don't fall. Okay. Oh, I don't like your sounds. Epsilon standard oxygen unavailable. Damn. So what? There's no oxygen? So how what are we breathing? Guys? That was barred up pretty well. <laughs> oh no, it's loading something. That's not good. Uh, I think I have to go this way. Oh my god! Oh fuck! What? What? Where is that coming from? Where is that coming from? Oh shit no. Shit no. Shit no. Shit. No.
the same. Ooh. We didn't do nothing, Mr. Robo. Nothing happened. Nothing happened, nothing happened, nothing happened. Nothing happened. No, 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 can't move, can't move, can't move, can't move, can't move. Oh, run, run, just run. Oh, fuck, just run, just run, he's coming. No, what are these? No, 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 no. Oh, whatever this is, we're done. Oh. <laughs> That's pretty cool. What was that? What's going on? What do we do now? Our vision... Our vision's all fucked? What are we supposed to do here? No. <laughs> game holy shit oh that was fun okay well that'll be it for this episode guys thanks for taking a, a look see for watching the video and uh like share and subscribe and i'll be playing a lot more of this game very soon uh comment below let me know what you think of soma what you think of the of the channel let me know uh have a good day, guys, and more Soma to come. Get excited. I am crapping my pants. Bemo out. End. Not in this room. Wait. Sure. Yeah, he is right there. No!